Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I'm in the forest again and the plan is that today I want to build a torch which actually burns. Stay tuned. Highly flammable and the perfect fuel for my torch. Alright guys, so I want to make a fire down there beside the creek and now I'm searching for some firewood. I just need a small fire, a heat source to melt the pine resin. Alright folks, so for the torch I'm going to use this old rag that I had at home but you can also use an old t-shirt that you have or maybe you have a second t-shirt with you when camping or you can even use your worn out wool socks for this torch so any fabric will work and if you don't have this you can even use grass. Now I'm going to cut this fabric into pieces. I want to have long strips That's one. The next thing that I found was this old wire here. It was attached to a fence and for a good torch you really need a wire like this. You need something that doesn't burn and uh, this wire here will hold the torch together. But first I'm going to use it for my can because yeah, I need to attach it to the can so that I can hold it over the fire. And now I'm feeding the wire through the holes here. So this is my can now. This is some really hard wood. It's beech wood and it's going to withstand the fire for a long time. Now I try to split the torch because then I can uh, squeeze the fabric into the split here. So for fire making today I just have a couple of matches and I'm going to use some of the pine resin as tinder. burning. Okay, 
I'm kind of out of pine resin, so I should have collected much more. But for today, it should be fine. And the rest of the pine resin, I'm just going to pour over the cloth. Okay, next I want to take off the wire from the can because I need it. And with the wire you want to cover the cloth on a torch because otherwise it would fall down while it's burning. Alright folks, so this is the torch that I have just built and I have to admit it looks a little bit ugly <laughs> but I think it's going to work pretty fine so let's try it out. Okay, it's burning now. It's burning pretty good. Okay. I just take a look at my watch so that I know how long it burns. There's an animal. There's an animal. There's some kind of animal up there. I can hear it. It's probably a deer or a fox. Yeah guys, so torches are really great for camping or survival, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, for example, you know, a lot of people think they don't need a torch anymore because they have flashlights. A flashlight is great, but actually uh, wild animals, they are not afraid of flashlights, but they are afraid of fire. So let's say if you go camping in a bear prone area, then maybe it's a good idea to make a torch for chasing away bears or other predators. Yeah, I definitely should have used more pine resin, but still, now we have seven minutes of burning time. So it's still burning, very bright. We are now at eight minutes and the torch is almost out. So now we are at 10 minutes, which is pretty long for a torch. So I really like this style. The only thing that you need is to find some old wire from a fence. And the cloth is working fine as well. It's acting as a wick, actually. Yeah, folks, so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial of how to make a torch. And if you are interested in getting my knife here, then make sure that you check out my online store. You can find the link in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.